go knock on her door. You step out your room like you wanna fight. So wait, you wanna fight? Yes or no? Do you wanna fight? Yes or no? You wanna fight? Yes or no? Do you wanna fight? Yes or no? If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below to join the crew because over here we always slay and never play. Period. Okay, so boom, y'all. Let me tell y'all. Today I'm going to be doing story time or whatever. And I know y'all can tell by the title. Yeah, facts. Okay. Um, <laughs> but okay, yeah. So this is going to be a story time about how I almost bought my roommate. Yeah. Okay, so boom. Let me, let me just go back. Let me just go back. Let me take it back for a second, okay? So, okay, when I did my housing application or whatever, boom. I picked room 110A, okay? And Z, my roommate, and my twin, and yeah, okay? Um, she picked room 110B, okay? We wasn't worried about who's on the other side. Okay, so boom. We do that, right? Right, okay. So, oh... I was room was 110 for a minute. And then next thing you know, I go on housing and I see that our room has been changed to room 14. Like we still got the same roommates or whatever. We still got the same room. I'm still in A. She's still in B. But I see that our room been changed to room 14. Okay, so that's cool. So I was emailing housing, calling housing, trying to get us moved back to the first or second floor because we didn't want to stay all the way up here on the fourth floor. Okay. They never they LA they couldn't move us okay boom so two weeks before school started yeah it was like two weeks before school started a week or two or whatever they um the lady over housing well she's like over the room assignments or whatever she emailed me and saying that she had a room for me in room 206 okay but she said she couldn't move my roommates okay so Z had said that she wasn't coming back to school right Okay, so I was like, all right, then I'm gonna go ahead and move since Z not coming back anyway. So she's not gonna be my roommate anyway. So yeah, I was gonna, I had went ahead and move. I took the room, right? Okay, so I get to that room and baby, the roommate, I mean, the room was nice. It was way bigger than this room. It was on the second floor. I All I had to do was take the stairs. You feel me? Like, I love the room, the location of the room, everything. Okay, so boom. I um stay in there for a whole week. The roommate, the roommate on my side, just super freaking loud all the time. Always loud. Always, like, having hella people over to the room. Being loud, inconsiderate, like she the only one who stayed there. So, I'm like, I got to get out of here. That's when I was still in the nursing program. You know, I couldn't focus on studying. I couldn't focus on my webex. I couldn't focus on nothing because she was always loud. I'm talking about like, girl, one one o'clock in the morning coming in, waking me up loud. Like, yes, y'all. So y'all, I was like, I gotta get out of this room. I have to because I already know. Yeah, facts. <laughs> so I'm like, I have to get out of this room. So I started emailing housing and telling them like, okay, I want to be moved to a different room. Okay, da da da. Okay, in the process of this, y'all. Z decided that she was going to come back because the reason Z didn't come back is because her financial aid was messed up, okay? So she contacted housing and the people and she was like, can I still move in because my, my uh, financial aid messed up? She was concerned about them trying to make her move out. You feel me? Okay, so boom. Z texted me saying she, um, you know, going to move back, going to move in and stuff and she going to move in on this day. Okay, so boom. Z moves in on that Sunday. The whole time, that whole week, I'm steady trying to get them to move me. They try to schedule me in. Uh-uh. Move me. Remove me from this situation. You feel me? Like, that's all I want. I want to be removed from this situation. Okay. So, I finally get moved, y'all, on that Monday. That, so, Z moved in on the Sunday. Then the next day, I moved in. I moved back up here to my original room. I told her, I said, I just want to be moved back to my original room that I was supposed to be in in the first place. Okay, she, so they finally approved my room change, okay? So, then, boom. I get up here. Everything is cool. It was just me and Z, and then it was this other girl on the other side, Raven. And she, at first, she was the only one in here by herself, Okay. So like a week or so go by and then we get this fourth roommate who moves in. I still don't know her name. 
own or whatever. So she moved in and you no, know, yeah, whatever, cool. So about, this happened probably about like a week. No, this happened like three weeks ago. Yeah, about three weeks ago, I don't know. But yeah, it happened in September. Okay, so me and Z and our friend Jemiah and Daisy, we was all in the room, whatever, doing we too. <laughs> okay, so for real though. But yeah, so we in the room, you know, don't, don't tell. This part of the secret, so don't tell. Okay, don't tell. Okay, so yeah, we, we got the uh, goddamn thing, right? The dog. Okay, period. So we had that, right? And so we had, um, you know, burnt the, the coat. <laughs> So we burn the car on the stove or whatnot. Okay. Boom. So then we doing our thing, doing our thing. All right. So we go to sleep. Everything cool. Everything. Yeah. We had our fun for the night, you know? Boom. Okay. So we wake up. Then the next day. Cool. Okay. So then Z coming here and she was like, she was like, um, the girl on the other side. She was like, yeah, the girl said that, um, whatever we were burning last night, she had an allergic reaction to it. She said her throat started to swell. Okay, so Z had said she told us like, okay, yeah, we was we, we wasn't cooking that thing. No, cause the girl had said whatever y'all was cooking last night, it made me have a little reaction. So Z was like, I, she told her, um, we wasn't um cooking anything. We burnt coal. Okay, so then and you know Z had came and told me, and I was like, okay, well she had a little reaction to it. We don't do it no more, okay? We won't burn it in here no more because we don't want her in here. We don't want her in here about to die, you know? Okay, so boom. Like a few hours and it went by. A few hours and it went by, right? And this thing you know, I get this email. I'm inserted. And it's basically from the area coordinator. I ain't gonna say his name. But it's basically from the area coordinator of Hall, whatever I stay in, saying that that the people in housing like above him said that he had to have a meeting with us, right? And the meeting was about drugs. Y'all, drugs, okay. So I'm looking at the email. I send the Z. She was asleep. So she wake up and she come in here and see I'm like, you know, everybody confused. Like what drugs? nobody had no drugs nobody don't do no drugs period okay so <sighs> this is where it get hectic okay so boom we got we see the email he said he got a schedule meeting with us the next day at eight o'clock in our room so i go knock on her door uh the girl on the other side i go knock on her door she didn't come to the door so I'm at this point I'm pissed off because I feel like you know you know just told before you gave us the opportunity to see if we was gonna even like burn the shit again. I bet burn it again. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all with me? Y'all with me? Okay. Yeah, so you know you know already told before you even gave us the chance to see if we was gonna do it again or not, right? So boom. We leave. I, I like I have to leave because like at this point, like at this point this is zero. And this is me. Y'all can't even see my hand because that's me. Okay, so boom. We leave. We go to the grocery store. So Z was like, when we get back from the grocery store, I'm, I'm going to knock back on her door again. And that's exactly what she did. So we knock back on the door. She she comes to the door. And I'm like, uh, and at this point, the other girl, Raven, is, is came out the door too. So we all standing there, right, in front of her door. She's still in her room in her door. So we all standing there. And then I'm like, did you get the email? Like, we just trying to figure out what's up. Like, you know, what's the deal? Like, and she was like, I told my mama not to uh, call them and whatever, whatever, whatever. Like, she was like, I told my mama not to call them because I didn't want no issue with the roommates. And she was like, I had an allergic reaction, an allergic reaction. My throat started to swell, this, that, and the third. So we just standing there, standing there talking, right? And I'm just like, I'm just trying to figure out why did housing get involved? Like, why are we having to sit down and have a meeting when you didn't even give us the opportunity to see if we were gonna do it again? Like, you talking about your throat swell up. Like I said, you should, like I, I was telling her, like, like I said, you should have came out here last night. If you was having an allergic reaction, you should have came out here last night when we was doing it and said, I don't know what y'all burning, I don't know what y'all cooking or whatever, but this is giving me an allergic reaction. It's hard for me to breathe. Simply, y'all with me? Yeah, so I'm like, okay. 
whatever. So, this thing you know, we still talking or whatever. This thing you know, she stepped out her room door. Like, so I'm, I, mind you, me and Z just got back from Walmart, okay? So I still got my little purse in my hand, my keys, and I think that was it. So I put it down on the ground, I mean, on the floor. So I'm like, you know what? What? You know, she was like, you uh, put your stuff down like you want to fight. That's it, me like you fight. And I'm like, you stepping out your room like you want to fight. So, wait. So I'm in the um, middle of the, like, right there in front of our washer and dryer thing. I'm in the middle of it. I'm just like, do you want to fight? Yes or no. Do you want to fight? Yes or no. You want to fight? Yes or no. Do you want to fight? Yes or no. They instead of just, y'all need to calm down. Nah, the girl raving. She was like, y'all need to calm down. Y'all need to calm down. I'm instead of saying, do you want to fight? Yes or no. Do you want to fight? Yes or no. The living room right here. Do you want to fight? Yes or no. So I'm like, do you want to fight? Yes or no. Okay. Never said that. So I take that as a no. Okay. Boom. So Z, um, oh, that, let me, let me run. Okay. So she stepped out the door. I put my stuff down. Z, Z come to grab my stuff. And she's like, why you walking up on her? Why you walking up on her? Why you walking up on her? So boom. That's when I repeated the, do you want to fight? Yes or no. Okay. So she want to fight. So then at this point, the, the little shindig or whatever the fuck. Oh, Lord. Okay, it had to move to, like, the, the little living room kitchen area. Because, like, we have a, a table in our kitchen. So I was sitting at the table, and she was like, by my parents, something, something, by my parents. I'm like, nobody's saying nothing about your parents. So she at this point, she getting rowdy, da, da, da. I said, girl, I will pepper spray you. Period. Because at this point, you don't want to fight. So I will pepper spray you. So, boom, y'all. We started talking. The girl Raven was like, we need to come to an agreement. Da, 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 da. We need to figure it out. Yeah. So we started talking. She, we air out. We just yelling back and forth at this point for no reason. So she's like, um, my mama called because she felt like it was common sense not to burn coal in the house. Y'all, y'all know, if y'all know about, y'all know that the coal for them is like super small. Like it's like this big, literally. Like, you know, it's like a box like that. So, we only had burnt four of them. Two for mine and two for my friends, Jemaya and Daisy's. Okay. So, um, I'm just like, okay, cool. Whatever. You, your mama saying it's coming since not to burn it. Clearly, it's not too coming because I didn't know. <laughs> Clearly, it's not too coming because he was like, well, we burn, we do that in my house. That's how we do it at my house. And she's like, that's stupid. Like, she basically talking about something. I was like, well, it ain't too common because I didn't know. She's like, you stupid then. You must just be stupid then. Because there's common sense not to burn coal in the, in the house. It's an open flame. Da, 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 da. Just going off. Like, girl, don't call me stupid because I ain't stupid. Because apparently, it, like I said, it ain't too common. Because if it was too common, then I would have knew. Period. <laughs> so... Time going by, she started talking about, yeah, my mama called because she felt like that was coming. She felt like, um, she felt like it was, um, like we did it on purpose, like out of spite or something. I'm like, we don't even know you. We don't know you. You don't know us. I don't know her. The only person I know is Z. Me and Z know each other. I don't know y'all. So how do I supposed to know what y'all allergic to? Hell, the girl Raven, she had cooked fish. No, she, the girl, this, the girl, her, she cooked fish, and Z alerts the fish, but nothing was said. We don't know each other, so therefore, we don't know what each other are. We don't know what we allergic to, none of that. So, you, you talk about your mom to my, we thought, you, she thought we did it on purpose, but how? We didn't know that she was allergic to that. We don't know, because we don't know her like that. We, none of us know each other like that, you feel me? Like, so... At this point, we stayed in the in the kitchen talking, right? Raven, like, y'all need to get it together. We need to come to a, a story because once housing get involved, if we all saying different stuff, yelling and fussing and cussing at each other, they're going to give all of us a fire. They're going to kick all of us out. So I'm like, okay, let me get right because I'm not trying to, you know, get kicked out about some stupid job because it's stupid. I felt like it was stupid. Just like I said, I don't feel like it was that serious. And I still don't feel like it was that serious. And so she was like, it was that serious because I couldn't breathe, da, 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 da. And I'm still trying to figure out why didn't you come out that night and say something. Y'all get what I'm saying? Like, if you couldn't breathe that night, she was like, well, I didn't, I didn't know if, if that was what made me have the allergic reaction. I'm like, you still don't know. If you don't know, 
if you didn't know then, you didn't, you still didn't know now that this was that's what caused you for your throat to swell up or whatever happened. <laughs> Y'all, first of all, I don't know how your throat swell up and you don't die. Because if your throat swelling up, that means you can't breathe. Which means you would have to go to the hospital that day. Like, right when it's happening. You feel me? So, I was confused. But, um, yeah, so at the end of the night, um, like, we just was talking for, like, so long. Trying to figure out a story. Because at first she was like, well, I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to tell them that it was cold being burnt. da 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 and she talking about some because I know that coal is being burnt for a hookah. Mind y'all, she saw my hookah on the um on the counter. I'm like, girl, you don't know why we was burning hookah. You don't know. She like, I saw the hookah on the counter. I said, you don't know we was smoking hookah. Like you said, you never came out here, so you don't know if we were doing hookah. You don't know if I got the hookah there for decoration. You don't know if I'm holding the hookah for my friend. My friend just left it in here or nothing. You don't know nothing. You don't know because you didn't come out the room sweetie all right so yeah that's basically what happened <laughs> and how i almost found my roommate like i was really mad i was really pissed because i felt like why he had to snitch on us and now oh y'all i forgot okay so we had our meeting right so the, like the next day he canceled the meeting he said we won't have it the next day so we had it the next day at 8 o'clock. He come up here. He was like, this meeting is just about um, drugs or whatever and visitation. I'm like, visitation? Don't know how to be having nobody up here. No one has spent the night. He could like, he's like overnight visitation. No one has spent the night with me in this room. No one has spent the night with me in this room right here. Never. No one. So I'm just like, who violated visitation? What about visitation? Because cause don't nobody, barely nobody be up here but the people who live here. Like, I don't be having nobody up here for real. Z don't be having, Z be gone. Like now, Z is in Atlanta. Z be gone home, okay? So, I'm trying to figure out, like, visitation, what? Okay, so he just started talking. He was like, yeah, this is going to be a complaint. I'm like, yeah, it got to be a complaint because it can't be a violation because y'all didn't catch us doing this. Nobody don't have no proof that we did anything. Just like I told him, I said, People can say anything. I said a complaint could be a lie. Somebody could just be calling and saying something just just to be saying it and lying on us. And he was like, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I know. Because no one has no proof that we did anything. So in the end, I won. <laughs> Period. Okay. So, yeah, that's pretty much what happened, y'all. And it was just like a big mess. And, yeah, I don't really say too much to her anymore. I mean, we in the room, we in the room. Whatever. You do you, I'm doing me. But um, I had made a comment, y'all, because like I told y'all at the beginning of the story, I had moved from the second floor back up here. And I had said this. I said, if anybody feel like they don't want to stay here anymore, they can move. Because I'm not moving. Period. I'm not moving. I'm not moving again. I'm not packing all this stuff up and moving it again. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. So if anybody don't feel like they don't want to stay here no more, then leave. Peace out. Okay? And that's just dead on that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this story. Don't think I'm crazy or nothing. I'm not crazy. I'm not like, I'm not no, don't think I'm just like little starting with people, not a little drama. Because that's not it. But I feel like I was trying. So yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this story. I know I ain't remind y'all throughout the video, but like the video. You with me? Like the video, okay? Leave a comment. Have y'all ever, if you in college, have you ever had a situation with your roommate? Ooh, if y'all have, tell me. If you ever had a situation with your roommate, tell me in the, in the comments, because baby, I want to know. I want to know. Because baby, baby, living with other people that you don't know, it'd be a mess. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Mwah.